Hi everybody, it's time for another J9's Patio Chat Check-In. It is Wednesday, and in fact, it is Wine Wednesday. I'm enjoying some wine right now. Delish. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that in a minute. I have that wine for a reason. And those, that you are, those of you who are on my Facebook already know where this is going. Sorry, I just thought I got a little wine on my lip. Not sure if I did, but anyway. I'm gonna let that go. Let's get into our birthdays. So it is Melanie Smith Balma's birthday today. So Melanie is Natalie Smith's sister, and I say that because Natalie and I worked together for years at Carlton Cards, so that's how I met her sister, Melanie. But I know, Kathy, you love the connections, and another connection, of course, is that Melanie is Mitchell Balmas's mom, and we were lucky enough to have Mitchell on the Eagles for a little bit, and I know now he's at St. Mary's, so Melanie, I hope you're having a wonderful birthday. I hope your family is treating you like gold. And it is Katie Walsh, Walsh's birthday. And Katie and I know each other. Katie is my friend and colleague from FAC. Um, Katie's actually been on assignment as a quarantine officer, busy as a bee. And Katie, I just love you. I hope you're having a great birthday and I hope you get a minute to watch this. <laughs> and I hope you do get a chance to celebrate. It is Ethan's birthday today, and he's 16 years old. I've never met Ethan, but I know his parents, Crystal and Jeff Pick, so I hope that Ethan is having a great birthday. It is Shannon's birthday, and he's 21 years old, and that is Mitch, oh my God, Mitchell. I've got Mitchell on the brain now. Michelle and Dwayne's son, so I hope he's having a good birthday. I graduated with Michelle from Riverview. It is um, Brandon's birthday. Sorry, I got caught up there. <laughs> You'll see in a second, I had a birthday from yesterday, so I'll leave that one, but for now. But Brandon White, yes, another White. So this is on my mom's side. It's my Aunt Oliveira's grandson. It's Tony's son. Um, again, such a big family, the Whites. There's so many of them. And, and some kept the LeBlanc. So there's, anyway, my mom's family is just... Uh, it's beautiful to be part of such a big family though, I must say, but it's hard to keep up with everybody. So Brandon, I hope you're having a good birthday. You're not on my Facebook, but I see that you're on my brother's, so uh, maybe I'll add you. Um, maybe somebody will tell you this is out there and you'll just have to see it. And there was another birthday yesterday, it was Matt. He was 12 years old, and that is my friend and colleague from FAC, Pam's son, and you may remember, her daughter Kate had a birthday a few weeks ago. So now Pam and Pat are celebrating their son Matt's birthday. So I hope he had a great birthday. We were talking today, Pam and I had a chance to catch up. And uh, of course, she's in Newfoundland and they've, um, you know, as, as we all know, they've had different things going on and normally um, they would probably be getting together with family to celebrate birthdays, but they haven't been able to do that, of course, with the um, recent events in Newfoundland. So anyway, we're all, uh, we're all adapting as, as we have to with different things happening. And it is Billy and Jana's, Jana, Jana, I think it's Jana. Sorry, Billy, I probably screwed that up. I said it earlier today and I said, is that right? Um, it's their anniversary. And Billy's from home, he's an East Bay guy, he's in Toronto. Uh, I know, I don't say it quite right, but anyway, um, Billy, is, I know, treating Jana to a, well, they're both treating each other. First, I was thinking it was a birthday. It's an anniversary. They're both treating each other wonderfully. So I'm a little off today. Why would that be? Well, it's because I'm so excited about my cheese delivery, everybody. So you knew I was expecting cheese and it came today. It's called um, Amazing Clubs. So that's where it came from. And I get a little newsletter. Hmm telling me about my different cheeses. So I brought the three cheeses out. Um, I didn't actually bring them all, I just cut pieces of course. <laughs> but I'm quite excited, it's an amazing amount of cheese. More than one person should be eating, so I'm hoping to connect with my friends soon so we can, they can help me eat it. But I already had a phone date scheduled with my friend Tara tonight, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I am enjoying, enjoying, enjoying some cheese and wine. Um, actually, other fun fact, I ended my day by talking to Phoebe, 
who is uh, doing an internship at FAC, but she was a former student of mine um, and we were having a catch up and that was just a really great way to end my work day. So hi Phoebe, if you're watching. So she was, uh, I had actually tried a bit of the cheese while we were chatting. So I've got three cheeses. I've got the Fontina cheese. It's from uh, Saint Benoit de la, uh, the Harvardi, which is Amerland America, and the aged mixed cheese, Los Camaros. So just quickly, let's see. This is the, this is the Fontina. Okay, so I'm just looking through here. It's, um, over the years, the increasing popularity of their cheeses required them to modernize their cheese factory, talking about monks. This Fontina is a firm cheese, interior ripened for more than three months. Its soft, slightly creamy texture brings out a delicate hazelnut flavor with a touch of melted butter. Oh yes. Mmm. Great. Delicious. So, next, the Harvardi. That one is a creamy cheese with a high butter fat content. Just what I need, more butter. Studded with tiny eyes, it's mellow and fresh flavor. Pairs perfectly with a little spice. Well, I like a little spice. This isn't spicy, by the way. This is a Pinot Noir and I'll tell you in a minute exactly what it is. Try this delicious cheese on burgers, as grilled or on a roast beef and sriracha mayo sandwich. Whoa. I won't be having that. I'm not a sandwich person really, but I like the sound of it with a sriracha mayo. So, hmm, we'll see. Oh, right. <laughs> I didn't try it. I have tried the, I have, spoiler alert, I've tried these already, but for you guys, mmm, so good. I can see just a little mark there on my lip. It's bugging me a little. You know how I get caught up in something silly. And last but not least, the Los Cameros. It is from the Rioja region of Spain. It's an olive oil cured cow, goat, and sheep's milk cheese with a milky and fresh intensity. It's aged at least six months in cellars and bathed three times, not one, not two, but three times in olive oil. So its characteristic flavor and smooth, firm texture develops. It has a fine, tasty flavor a straw yellow color, and a firm texture with small, well-distributed holes, very important, um, added to a cheese board, served with fruit, or with a slice of the classic Spanish Membrillo paste. Interestingly enough, I don't see recommendations for wine. Huh, interesting. The wine I'm drinking, though, so, oh right, the cheese, of course. <laughs> Are you having fun? I'm having more fun if you're having this cheese. Oh my god. Delicious. In all seriousness, this again was a gift from my former FAC family. Well, they're still my family, but my former FAC, FAC my former workplace. They'll always be my family. Um, so good. Oh my God, all the cheeses are delicious. So thank you again so much. I brought out, because, you know, I'm always supporting local. Those cheeses aren't, aren't local, but <laughs> local people gave them to me. This is a signature... Pinot Noir, it actually says signature. Um, I'm doing this now, do you see this? I'm getting my eyes checked. <laughs> um, yeah, so it says serve with charcuterie, red meats, and cheese. Well, done and done. So, <laughs> sorry about that little commotion. Anyway, this is just lovely. Back to that, I'm absolutely loving this. So. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Another cheers to you. I'm going to enjoy some cheese. Um, today, I'm, a I'm actually ordering in something too. I'm just giving myself a special day. You know why? Because it's Wednesday, no other reason. We have to be good to ourselves. So I'm really, I'm really happy and I feel very blessed. Another thing I was able to do today, well, I was going to do anyway, but an extra nice thing. You may recall I also received a gift certificate from Bishop Seller from my colleagues. And I use that today towards my Wine Wednesday order, which will be arriving tomorrow. So, I'm so happy. Um, I can't thank you enough. It's always, it just feels so nice to be appreciated. And I feel very, very blessed always um, 
to just have people that care about me so much. And tomorrow's March 4th. My brother is getting his second dose. So he will be fully vaccinated, Bryce, um, as of tomorrow. I'm so happy to hear that. And um, yeah, it's just great. The first one in the family and my parents, mom and dad will both be in the list of 70 to 79. And then Patrick and I will be straggling along, but that's fine. Um, I'm really happy. And I'm happy to see so many of my friends and family getting the vaccine uh, here and there. I'm forgetting different people, you know, that I had kind of forgotten. Oh, right, they'll be able to get it fairly quickly. So I think I'll leave it there, everybody. I'm really excited, like I said, to catch up with Tara. We haven't chatted for a while. Tara is in PEI and um, they've been experiencing some uh, restrictions themselves um, with some current um, influx in um, individuals testing positive. So we're all here for each other. So please remember to check in with folks. I can't believe it. It's almost 11 minutes. I know. And my brother, Patrick, will have literally not watched. I mean, he would have fat, he does this thing where he watches things on double speed. I know that's not what it's called. He'll tell me what it is. Well, this one, he won't even bother because it's cheese related. So not for him, not in his wheelhouse. So everybody, take good care of yourselves. Take good care of others. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.